Hey guys, so Julia here. I'm here about to show y'all my personal bunker range. A lot of y'all have asked, hey, what does a bunker range even look like? What does your private range look like? And so I decided to, you know, just video this today and check it out. Okay, so I just opened um, my toolbox. The toolbox is where I actually keep all of the machines and the actual counting system that Bunker Trap has. So you can see it, I am turning this button on. You can see it does light up. It is El FIPA box. This box um, right here, you can tell that I can put it on a different station. If I wanna start on a different station, this is to start and stop. Reset, big red button is to reset, which is really cool. Start, stop, reset. And that is for the lights. You can see all my ammo. Oh my goodness, so bad. I need to clean it. I definitely need to clean it. But yeah, so let's go take a look down underneath the bunker. As you can tell, that's the other view. Let's go. So that is the low house. This is the bunker. The high house is right over there. We're going down, we're going down. Bunker. Bam. As you can tell, they're all 15 machines. All the way down. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, what are you shooting at? They're orange. We can kind of see them. We can't see them. Um, so these are clay targets. Okay. So these are specifically white flyer clay targets. I mean, you can tell I fill up machines daily. Um, literally, probably about once a week I fill them all the way up. But this is about, this is about halfway. <laughs> probably need to fill more. But um, we are shooting at these clay targets. They can break. As you can see, um, they are fragile like eggs. Um, so we unload them, we put them in the machines and we shoot at them and that's that's clay target shooting 101. Um, for those of you who don't know, if you actually look at a target compared to a normal size target, these are international targets. The reason why is they're thinner so they can handle the speeds and they're harder to break. Um, you'd be surprised the difference. Um, certain targets, their dimensions, um, how they're made, can make them easier or harder to break. The small little ones that you see that are like this big, they're called minis. They're some of the hardest targets to break. They are tough suckers. Um, but yeah, that's the bunker trap. So what ammo are we shooting at bunker trap? So you're gonna find shotgun shells, there's a dime a dozen. Um, the ammo that we're shooting at Bunker Trap is seven and a half, seven eighth ounce. That is a restricted regulation. Um, you have to have seven eighth ounce to compete. Um, they will DQ you if you do not have seven eighth ounce. Um, that is restrictions. Now, the velocity can depend on the shells. I'm currently using uh, 1350s as the velocity. You can see these are um, Agula ammunition. Um, I love it. They pack a punch and I'll show you. Let's shoot some stuff. what a bunker trap is what does it entail the whole nine yards i hope y'all enjoyed it um 
click the subscribe button, follow me, share me, leave a comment. Love to hear from you guys. I'll be posting more videos about tips and tricks of the shooting life.